So sketching linear equations, this time I'm going to do the gradient intercept method. Now I'm going to show you an example of the gradient intercept method first and then I'm going to explain to you why on earth you would want to know it. So this is what we're going to sketch, y equals 4x plus 1 and like I said we're going to use the gradient intercept method. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is look for what's called the y intercept. So the y intercept here is our number 1. You could have also like subbed x equals 0 into this equation and found the y-intercept, but in any case our y-intercept is 1. Okay, 1. And then the other part of this is the gradient part. We look at the gradient, in this case the gradient is 4. And what does a gradient of 4 mean? Well, the gradient m equals rise over run, we know that. But in this case our gradient is 4. So how do we express 4 as a fraction, rise over run? Well, that's just 4 over 1. Now, what does a gradient of 4 over 1 mean? It means that it moves up 4 for every 1 it moves across. So from our intercept, from our intercept, we do exactly what that says. We go up 4 and across 1. And that'll bring me to 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's make it there and one across, let's make that there, and now I have a second point that I can draw a line through. So that's it, I've sketched this line using the gradient intercept method. Find the intercept and then use the gradient to find a second point. But why on earth would you use this method when I think the x and y intercept method is far superior? Well, there is a kind of line that won't work if you're trying to use the x and y intercept method that will work if you're using this method. This line here would cause you all sorts of problems if you tried to use the gradient, uh, sorry, the x and y intercept method. Because remember, the x and y intercept method asks you to find the x intercept. Now, the x intercept of this, if I let y equal 0, 0 equals 3x. The uh, x-intercept of this would be 0. Now, what would the y-intercept of this be? Well, let x equal 0, y equals 3 times 0. The y-intercept of this is also 0. Put another point there. So what I have is a single point, And you can't draw a line through a single point. Or you can draw an infinite number of lines through that single point. Absolutely anything would do. So... If you have a line with a y-intercept of 0, your only choice is to use the gradient intercept method, at which point it's really easy. The y-intercept is 0. We can see the gradient of this is 3, 3 over 1, which means that we go up 3 and 1 across, so 1, 3, and we draw a line through there. So having sketched a lot of lines in my time, I would never use the gradient intercept method except when the y-intercept is zero. And then I really don't have a choice because I can't use the x and y-intercept method.